Yeah, I talked to him. I was I was ecstatic yesterday. I was like, he really scored 100 points. It felt unreal. So he's your older brother. Did you guys, who, who was the big scorer when you guys would go against each other in, in the back in the day? We both were like we always compete. Me, him, and my other brother. We all three used to always go at it. So I mean, to see him do something like that, we all excited for him. Were you able to watch the game? Yeah, I was. I watched some of it, and I mean, I was at the gym, and I left the gym, and I, my phone just blew up like I did. So I was like, "What happened?" And everybody was texting me, "Your brother, your brother, your brother." I was like, "No way!" So I Facetimed him. I was like, "There's no way." I didn't even know what to say. I was just shocked. Like it felt like I was dreaming. I was like, "That's unreal." So you didn't get to see it actually. You just found out about it after the fact. Yeah, I saw, I saw some of it like the beginning because my brother, and my other brother was at the game, and he was texting me. JJ got 24, and the game just started. I was like, "All right, he gonna have a good night." And then he had 51 at halftime. I was like, okay. What's your career high? 48. <laughs> so I couldn't, I couldn't even get 50. He got you and a half. Yeah, high school, I was trying to get 50. I couldn't even get 50. And then he goes and get 100. I'm like, credit to you. Your brothers, I mean, how close are you guys in kind of coming up through as you're working on each other's games and, you know, trying to help each other? We real close. Like, just me and my family, we have a close-knit bond. and. Me, me and my brothers, we basically do everything together. So to see him do that, like people don't see the work he put in. This morning, he the first one back in the gym after 100 points. So it just like shows the character he has and the person he is. What's the age he's, difference between you guys? Uh, I'm 20, he's 21, and then my other brother's 23. Is he going to kind of hold up that uh, bragging rights at holiday parties and things like he that? He got it, man. He <laughs> got it. I was, I felt like I dropped 100 the way I was celebrating with him. So. I mean, I was super excited for him, and he deserves it. Did you guys play together in high school? Yeah, we played together for two years, and we was on varsity for two years. Who was the leading scorer? I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. What's the oldest brother's name? Uh, Trey. Trey. Mm -hmm. Stati hey. Statistically speaking on this team, I've been having a lot of success with you on the floor recently. Does that kind of speak to maybe the intangibles you bring into this group and the when you're starting now with some of those guys playing a little bit more with the starters? Uh, just trying to be versatile and, you know, help the team out in whatever way I can and you know, try to bring it more on the defensive end. And we got a lot of great players on this team and a lot of unselfish players. So just me playing my role to help the team win, I'm going to try to do that the best I can. What does that mean defensively? Uh, just bring the energy. Whoever I'm guarding, just bring the energy, make sure I rebound well and, you know, just make hustle plays. What's it like, kind of going through this first little stretch of adversity that you guys have hit? How do you guys, how do you kind of get through this and make sure five doesn't turn into seven or eight? And yeah, kind of I mean, it was tough, and I mean, th this road trip it didn't come out like we wanted it to, but I mean, I feel like it brought us closer as a team, and we still on a mission, and we can't forget the long run goal, and we can't let adversity change who we are. Is it different for you um, at, in your rookie season in terms of college? There's usually one or two games a week. Now these games just keep coming one after another. Has that been something to adjust to here? Yeah, the games for sure is some t something to adjust to. And, you know, we just had a back-to-back. -back and I was thinking last night, I was like, we just had a back-to-back -back and we played today. It's just, it's just crazy and it's everything I dreamed of. So, I mean, I, was just, I just see it as like, you know, I was going to probably be in the gym anyways, but now I got a game. And I, I'm a love, I love the game, so that's what I love to do. The way Utah defended Carl last time, they basically did their best to take them out of the take him out of the game. That seems to open up more opportunities for you guys. Do you look at a night as saying like, okay, probably gonna be different times where I have to step up, especially on the offensive end? Yeah, for sure. Uh, last game they was doubling Cat a lot, and I mean the first game we played on Cat got loose on the three point line, and I mean it just depends on how the, on how the night go and how they guard them. So we go adjust, and Cat Cat does great passing the ball and scoring the ball and reading us as we cut. So I mean I feel like. Whatever they do, Cat will adjust well, and we'll adjust with them. Utah also brought a, a second guy on Andrew. Last game wasn't just a double on Carl. What do you do in, in that situation? Uh, be an outlet for uh, Andrew, be able to be there for him, for a passing outlet so he could make the right pass and then maybe get the ball back or make the right play.